Hey, my friends, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode here of the online remote learning for the microbit. And as you can see, we're going to continue on in our journey. By now, you should have your microbit set up. We're using the book here, Microbit for the Mad Scientist. So if you're following along in this awesome book by Simon Monk, we're going to be focusing on the rest of chapter one, pages 12 through at least we're going to go, you know, we're going to get to at least page 18. Just understanding the basics of how to code um, in the make code environment. So let's do this. Let's let's get into our, our work here as we get going. And I know that you're excited, right? Let's get a little bit of applause here. Let's get hyped. Yeah. Thank you, Okay, it's super cheesy now. So let's get rocking and rolling here. So now what we've got is if you go into your browser um, and you search for make code, it's going to pop right up. This is the online block coding software we're going to use. It is absolutely phenomenal, not just for microbit, but for everything. And so eventually when you get going, you're going to want to bookmark this. It's this makecode.microbit.org right here. But for now, let's just get to the main make code page. And even if you typed in makecode.com, it's going to take you to this page. And the reason I'm showing you this here is just so you can see all the, the applications in which you can do coding in make code. So we've got the micro bit. You can also do Circuit Playground. We've got Minecraft. We've got the Lego EV3 Mindstorms. Q, this arcade is creating your own little awesome 8-bit games. Um, and the Chibi Chip. So um, we're going to focus here on the micro bit. So that's what this course is about. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take you here to the micro bit make code page. Now, if you've never been here before, you're going to have just here, just where it says new project. However, the more that you code, as long as you're on your same browser over and over the same device, it's not going to carry over from device to device, but you will start to see all your code show up right here in this console. The other thing that's really nice about this, especially if you're an educator, is all the tutorials. So you could assign these tutorials to kids to learn. There's live coding sessions, there's games, there's radio games, they're broke down. I mean, the list just goes on. I mean, look at all these amazing projects that can be done with the microbit, all built right here in the Make Code site. So this is really phenomenal. And as you start to transition into JavaScript, once you become an expert in this, there's all the JavaScript stuff here. More importantly, here are the online courses and things that are available for you to use. You do not have to reinvent the wheel here, people. This is what I think is really important here as we talk about make code um, before we get into your first pro coding program. There's a whole entire computer science course. There's the intro to computer science classroom. There are science experiments. There's one just learning about the micro bit. And you can just see these courses just go on and on and on. It's just simply phenomenal. So don't feel that you have to be creative on the first one and come up with new ideas. There's so much that is already out here for you, as well as these coding cards and just there's just so much. So I want you to just be aware of that as we get going. So let's get into our first program. So we're going to go here to new pro project. I've been I've been talking plenty. I'm just going to call this uh, chapter one. Hello world, because that's what we're going to do. We're just going to make sure that we have this ready to rock and roll here uh, when we go to record um, our first code here. So we are on page 12 if you're following along in the book. If you don't have the book, you can still do this too. So we've got our device right here, our micro bit, and what we're going to need for this is just the micro bit and the USB cable. And, and what we're going to do here, as just as you can see, this is just a test really designed to do nothing more than make sure that we know how to do some basic coding and make sure we can get the code here to our actual hard hardware version of our micro bit. We don't need this forever block. So one of the things that we can do is we can drag these out. I could do two things. I could drag it over here and you can see that trash can and that disappears and it would just delete the block. I can also right click. You're going to see I've got some options here and I'm going to choose delete block just to get it out of there. And you hear that little trash can sound effect that that lets you know that it's gone. So what we're going to do here is just what the book says. We're just going to put in a very basic, the first coding program you do, whether you're doing Raspberry Pi or Arduino or any of those types of things. It's just the basic hello world. So we're going to go here to the basic block right here. And this is going to give you some of the more common blocks that are available. And we're going to choose this show string. We drag it out. It feels very much just like Scratch if you are a Scratch user. 
um, or things like that. So we've got this and we can make this say hello as it's already defaulted. I could type in hello world, you know, and what you're going to see here is over here in the simulator is it's actually going to show you what's going to happen. So this is helpful for students if they don't have access to a micro bit. Think about it with online teaching and learning now. Maybe you can't give a micro bit to every kid. They can still do their coding here and see what it looks like. And then when they come into class, they can actually download it with the actual micro bit itself and uh, go from there. So just something for you to think about. But I can see what's going to happen here. Now, as we go to do this, if I need to hide this for some reason, I can use that little arrow. Or for your case, if it's not showing, there's a little box right here. I can make that pop back out. And there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to download this to our micro bit. We actually want to see it happen. So this is going to look a little different whether you're on a Mac or a PC um, or, or, or Linux. But I'm going to hit this purple download button. And when I do that, for me, it's just going to show up down here. I'm on my Mac. Right here is the code. You're going to get this screen here, um, and you can see that if I can connect it, which I need to do, then I'm going to just drag it over to my micro bit drive. So that's actually what I'm going to do here. I'm going to plug in my micro SD port here to my USB on my device. And it should power up. I can see the light here showing. It lets me know that it's on. So we've got that. Let's we'll put this back here so you can see it. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm on a Mac. I just need to get to my Explorer window or my file folder. So in my Mac, I'm going to go to Finder. If you're on a Windows, you just got to get in to see wherever it downloaded. And I can see here my downloads. It's right here. So. Um, actually, you can't see that, so let me make sure that I can switch over here. Let me, there we go. So now that you can see on my finder on my, on my Mac, it's right here, this micro bit, chapter one, hello world, dot hex. And all I'm going to do is when I have my micro bit plugged in, it's going to show up over here in this location. And the same thing happens on a, a PC. And I'm simply just going to drag that over. Now watch what happens here with the micro bit. It's going to blink. It let me know that it's downloading. You can see that. It's going to take a second. Come on. Come on. It's a little slow. Here we go. And now it's going to say, hello world. And bada bing, bada boom. That's what we've got. And now our first application is now working. We have had success. We have made it work right there for all of us um, to see and actually make that work. So I see it here on my simulator screen. I also saw it right here on my device. I didn't have it in a forever loop, so it's just going to do it one time. So I'd have to run that code again if I wanted to. Now, the last thing um, that we want to do here is make sure we've got it saved. So if I go back here, um, to this home screen on my device, you're going to see, there it is, it's chapter one, Hello World. Now, you can go through and explore this a little bit here. I know we're getting a little long here in this video, but you could go through back to this basic. I could use an icon where they've got a ton of already preset items already on display here um, that I could choose from, which is which is nice. I could also... Go back here to this basic, this show LED, and I can actually then create my own. Wherever I click, that's what's going to show up on the screen. And then if I wanted to run this again here, it'll sit here. It'll say hello world, and then you'll probably see that little dash there, and I could download it and drag it over again, which is going to be great. But here's what I want you to do while this is getting ready to go here. There it is. There's that design. Bada bing, bada boom. When you're done and you've got your first sample code, I would love to see it. So over in the Discord channel, I want you to share your first code. So here's how we do that. We're going to go up here to the share. Okay. And when I hit this share, here's the name of it. And it's going to ask you that you need to publish it. So what this does is allow someone else to access your code. They can't destroy it or use any of that stuff, but they could see the code to learn from you. This is going to be important as you think about class and application. So here's the link for this code. I'm going to go here to copy. I could also share it on Facebook or Twitter, 
okay, uh, or any of my other kind of things. I could embed it into um, a website if I have a Google site and I have my learning there, okay. So what I want you to do here is I want you to share your code with me, your first code. Put something cool in there, make some cool design, play around with it, and then head over to the Discord channel. And I'm going to do this right now so you can see. Okay. And you're just going to paste that code in for us to access. And that's your first challenge here um, with chapter one of just learning the make code. So while this is loading here in a minute, just so you know, I can go here. Here's our channel in case you haven't been on here yet. We're going to head down to the micro bit. And here's my chapter one. Hello world. Sample code. I'm going to paste that in there. And now when you're in there, you can access this code in case you want to see the hello world in the backslash. Boom, there it is. So I'd love to see what it is that you have created. All right, my friends, moving into the next video, we're going to focus still on, on chapter one, but wrapping up chapter one by taking a look at how to do some micro Python coding, doing the same thing, but just in Python. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.